PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Windows Virtual PC. This is a brief how-to guide and I'm going to show you first of all the website where you can download it for free. Okay, and I'll include the link in the video description. The Windows Virtual PC allows you to emulate Windows XP basically. So if you're running Windows 7 and you've tried to install an older program and it doesn't work, the compatibility mode doesn't work, well this is what you would install to emulate Windows XP and run that program and install it in there. So I've gone ahead and downloaded, followed the instructions here, selecting your operating system that you're running. So I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. You can have the 32-bit, doesn't matter, of Windows 7. And then download these three files, okay, and install them in the right order. Okay, so it gives you all the instructions right here on what to do and how to access it after you've installed it. Now I'm going to show you it step-by-step step anyways. So first things first, make sure you meet the system requirements, right? So 32-bit uh, or 64-bit processor, that's fine. Lots of RAM, the more the better, right? Or else it becomes a little bit sluggish. And uh, of course, you need to have Windows 7, okay? Any of those, and it doesn't matter if it's 32-bit or 64-bit. And, um, and then I'm going to run here Windows 7 and then the XP mode, the Windows XP mode, so I can emulate that. So go ahead and download these three files after you know that you meet the uh, requirements and install them in the right order. So this one first and go through the setup, tell it where you want to install it, make sure you got enough space on that drive and then just follow the instructions. Simple, straightforward. After you've done that you can run the second file here which is just an update okay and then it'll ask you to reboot the machine and then the third one is also another update and then of course you'll have to restart again and then that's it now we've got access to the Windows XP mode and the virtual PC okay so we've got two of those and they're also under the program menus you can see them right here okay if I launch the Windows XP mode for the first time then I'm able to um, set things up okay and all the drives on my regular Windows 7 system will appear as network drives in the virtual PC and Windows XP mode so um, I'll show you that in a moment just running the setup here and um, that's it once it's done you can launch Windows XP mode and see how you're emulating Windows XP within Windows 7 so now you can run programs install programs it'll detect new hardware all that stuff just like if you were running Windows XP but now you're running it within Windows 7 okay and there are the network drives below which are just regular drives from my Windows 7. If you go to the top corner here you can see under action you can view full screen sleep restart there's the uh, USB connections if you install new hardware for example there tools that's where you would be accessing the settings if you wanted to check that out and of course access to control alt delete if you wanted to um, shut things down uh, for example like shutting down the virtual PC. Under the settings though, let's just go back in there, you can see the default 512 megs of RAM has been allocated. You can change all of these settings, however, not while you're running the virtual PC, you have to actually shut it down, okay, and then go into the Windows Virtual PC icon, and then in there you can select what you're running, which is basically that 512 megabyte of uh, file, and change that to um, 1024 for example so one gigabyte okay so uh, the more memory you allocate the smoother it runs okay so if you have enough memory on your machine like four gigs or six gigs like myself then you can put more all right and you can change the names of things and the paths and stuff like that okay so once you've uh, set things up the way you like then you can start installing things so I put in a CD from a program an old one that I had that ran in Windows XP and doesn't want to install in Windows 7 and I'm gonna go ahead and install it in my virtual Windows XP mode here and I got no problems it thinks it's in Windows XP and uh, it's not saying I cannot install it in Windows uh, um, 7 because it's in it's in its own little environment okay and it emulates that it's restarting the computer but of course it's only restarting the virtual PC and um, once it's restarted it that's it you can even use this to uh, surf the web right if you want to seclude yourself from the rest of the PC and keep things safe you can run um, accessing your websites and stuff like that securely within the virtual PC so very handy also for that and I definitely recommend it for those of you that have compatibility problems with older programs so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching